All right, guys. So we just finished part one where we, you know, talked about building basically this dashboard here. And uh, part two now we're going to build this second arm, um, part two and three. So, but instead of having my companies, I want this to reflect, you know, whatever tab we're on. So whether we're on dashboard, renewal, schedule, and all of this. So for, and I was thinking of changing the dashboard to just companies, right? So for um. For here, what I'm thinking about doing is that you can see that this is like the own rows, the arms columns. So column is stacked upon each other, rows is stacked side by side. So you have this floating group here as a row, and then you have this as another row. So what I want to do is I want to build that, you know, change the page to a row, and then just create a group like this, have the floating group on top, and then have the, um, you know, not necessarily, okay, let's just call this a floating group on top and then have the um the group underneath okay let's let's get into it all right so this is the um uh, dashboard page right and i um like i said i'm going to change this the layout to a whew, i'm going to change the layouts to a row Okay. And then this dashboard, I'm going to make it because it's extending beyond what it's supposed to extend. So I'm going to make the max width to be 300. So it's just going to stop there. Yeah. And then for the vertical, I'm just going to make it extend from top to bottom because it's um, that's how it should. It should extend from the beginning, from the top to the end, not stopping at 600 pixels. So. Now that we've got that covered, I am going to get a group and I'm just going to copy, you know, paste that group in here. And what we would call this is, uh, let me adjust this to 80 pixels. So I can see edge to edge. So what we'll call this group, we'll call this group, uh, just as a group reveal. <laughs> don't really have a name. So it's going to have a column. It's going to be stuck side by side. And uh, you can just make the we can just make this to be 600 pixels and we can make this to be um, I make this so this is not fixed with this extends from the beginning to the end pardon me okay all right so now that we have that what I want to do is I want to get a floating group which will serve as a header I will um, Get a floating group, just paste this here, and I'm going to make this a row, and it is going to be you know not fixed width, it's going to extend from end to end, and then I'm going to make this 60 pixels for the height, and lastly, I'm going to give it a padding of 10 all round. Then uh, what I'm just going to quickly do is I'm just going to take a text and then I'm just going to copy and I mean, just paste it in there. It's in is okay. And I will, uh, I'm going to call this test text get data from page URL. And the page URL is going to be V. And what it's going to be, it's going to be what kind of, it's going to be a dashboard now. And it's just going to be the display. Maybe I'll change this to 20 instead of 10 because it's looking too close. Make it 20, make it 20. Then um, center, let's make it center line there. And um, so what's this issue? Okay, so I need to ungroup this from the elements, right? So that it's just, it's right on top of, you know, 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to, uh, you know, just give it like a margin from the length of 300 pixels so that it doesn't interfere with the floating group. And with this group, I'm going to give this group a margin of 60 from the top so that it doesn't interfere with the floating group. So everything flows and the floating group is on its own. All right. So it's not inside group review. It shouldn't be inside the group. It should be out of it. Okay. So almost done. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into this. And I'm going to say that when this is clicked, I'm just going to do a quick workflow. And so that when this is clicked, that you should go to the page. And the page we're going to go to is the Lord Algebra page. So we're going to the same page, but we're sending a parameter, <clears throat> which is V. And the kind of parameter we're sending is the current cells dashboard display. That's all. So I'm just going to do a bit of styling. You know, you can see it's, it's a bit dark and it has its borders. <clears throat> so we'll go back to the dashboard page. Not the reusable dashboard, the dashboard page. I'm just going to give this a styling uh, border round. Solid. EB, EB, EB. EB. And I'm going to make this a gray, which is just going to be all nines. Um, border style. Background style. Let's make it nines. Uh, maybe it's a bit too dark. Make it a bit lighter. Yeah, I think that's okay. Let me say B5, B5, B5. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, I think that's okay. Okay, so how are we doing on time? Um, so if I refresh this, I should see what it looks like. Yeah, I think it's looking good. So if I click on dashboard, dashboard comes out. If I click on renewals, if I click on calendar, if I click on FAQ, if I click on receipts. Yeah, see our dashboard is coming out nicely. I'm just going to, uh, yeah, that's okay. So then I would, um, what else? I guess we have these buttons, but we can work on that in the next video. So maybe I just add these two icons on the left and on the right very quickly. So you just have the bell. And let's look for a bell. Okay. Make this black. I prefer all, all trees. One, two, three, one, two, three. Do it like a um, dark dark black. And then the layout will be 20 pixels by 20, right? And the center aligned. And uh, I'm just going to copy this. And um, what else do we have here? We have like a profile kind of thing. So I'm just going to put a person. Um, oops. Okay, man. Uh, it's hard to find a profile. Okay, there you have it. Yeah. So what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to make this two into a group, a row group. Okay, there we have it. And I will make this element fixed, fit with the content. Give it twenty 